new exhibit in Texas is celebrating women in science careers across the country, and it features five San Diego scientists. Each one has their very own life-size statue placed at a Dallas mall. How cool is that? The goal is to inspire young girls to get into science and engineering. News 8's Heather Hope has the story. Well, it's certainly not every day that you get the phone call of getting a statue made in your likeness. Well, rocket scientist Jasmine Sattler did, and now her statue, along with over 120 other women in science, are on display. It took several months to assemble 122 bright orange statues of real women across the country in science, tech, engineering, or math careers. It's my same height. <laughs> Standing tall at 5'5", scientist and entrepreneur Jasmine Sattler enjoyed posing for her life-size statue. Kind of have a nice fun pose because I'm a dancing rocket scientist, so I study ballet and aerospace engineering. Jasmine, along with five other San Diego women, have their own 3D printed statues placed at Dallas's popular North Park Center Mall in a new exhibit called If Then She Can. It stands for if we support a woman in STEM, then she can change the world. Matthew Cromit, co-founder of the If Then Initiative, hopes these models serve as actual role models. With women from across the country with, who are authentic, relatable, contemporary STEM professionals. The statue for oceanographer Amber Sparks shows her kissing a fish. But I can't wait to go to Dallas and see it in person. The UC San Diego grad turned environmental consultant loves how her statue matches her hair. It's electric orange, so I was getting a lot of jokes from my friends and family. The If Then exhibit is already inspiring little visitors taking pictures next to each statue. Give optics into those opportunities and hopefully inspire young girls to pursue careers in STEM. Jasmine hopes the exposure breaks barriers for underrepresented women in science. I left engineering after 10 years of being there just because not anything to do with my ability to do the job. The engineering was the easy part. The interactions with other people, the discrimination, the oppression was the really hard part of being there. Each statue a symbol for possibilities. It's just like immortalizing all of us in history so that our legacy can live on and we can inspire so many other women in science. The exhibit on display until October. Heather Hope, News 8. I love the idea <laughs> of too. those bold orange statues because having them there does say, hey, we are represented, we're doing this together, and yes. we do need more women in science like you. I could not agree more. Right? It's so <laughs> neat and empowering. Yeah, no, that really warms my heart to see uh, that statue and see all those different statues. Congratulations to Jasmine and all the women who are being mortalized. That is so awesome. Well, talking about STEM and well, related science, while well, we are talking about meteorology,